Okay, welcome back. This is the third chapter of the series of videos. Uh, we will modify the, well, install the Xdebug extension and then modify the PHP INI file. We will also change ownership of the virtual host and uh, finally we will perform the trace debug of the PH code. Okay, so let's uh, follow these uh, instructions. So now we have to edit this PHP INI. So we'll do, do this command. Okay, we'll sort to edit. And we will add these lines. We can add them at the very end of the file. Actually, any 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 place around here is is fine. So. the PHP INI, so now we restart the Apache server. Basically that is to reload the PHP INI. with the change in ownership of the virtual host. VS Code user and also part of a browser group. So, as you can see here, the 
this is my username and I'm going to be using VS Code so basically this is the username that I want to use you will have to find out uh, your VS Code usernames, uh, in my case it's Victor, and we're going to change ownership of the dev folder with all the folders under it. Good. You can see now that the folder allows Victor and uh, anybody on the browser group to uh, access to it. And also, for subsequent folders that will be created, the same uh, group, uh, uh, the same group in rights will be preserved. Good. Okay. Now let's uh, do the actual tracing of the PHP code. So change to this directory Sorry, what happened there? Oh, okay I cannot change from uh, from here so we can just See, even the PHP code has been has changed um, ownership. That's fine. So, and now in this location, uh, in this directory where we have our PHP, we will uh, launch the Visual Studio. Uh, let's close it down because it's important. Uh, VS Code runs on the same uh, location so we just say code current folder that launches the VS code and VS code finds our program and the important thing is that it tries to identify what type of program it is it will identify it as a PHP code and now if we click here on the debug uh, icon or you can also click on or type uh, control shift D VS code will create a launch JSON setting for the PHP code so it's indicating here that it's not set correctly yet so we will click on here and it's attempting to create it actually this is doing something else but um, let's uh, let it finish this first This is what we wanted to show. So it's attempting to create a launch JSON, and we have to select PHP here. Okay, so it created the launch JSON. So now we are ready to say debug, and you can see here it's already listening to the X debug. Okay, so that's good. So if we click here. 
it's in the process of listening so that's uh, uh, actually but we don't have access to the code Let's stop the debugging for a second. And we want to set up a breakpoint in here. So F9. And we can also Say debug again. We can set a watch in there. Okay. Good. So now let's try debug again. Start debugging. And now it's listening, and uh, it's not going to do anything else until we actually run the code. So the code we go to our browser and uh, we reload this page okay so we reload it okay so it hit the breakpoint that's why the page wasn't loading so we can uh, trace, step over, or we can press F10. You can see the variable changed already, and now we are ready to uh, execute that line. So the problem is finished. <laughs> I think the debugging was stopping the, the execution of the program, so now the program executes fine. Okay, sorry about that uh, last uh, embarrassing, <laughs> embarrassing situation, but uh, well, the important thing is that I show you that the uh, debugging of our code is happening. Okay, and uh, as I mentioned it here, happy tracing. Thank you very much.